Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. So I haven't really been um, active on here too much because I've just really been reevaluating some things and just uh, really praying, you know, for the Lord to give me clarity, um, you know, about a lot of the things that I've been talking about for the last five or six years. Now we see it, you know, coming to pass and it seems like everybody's talking about it now. And so I've been I've been praying. I said, Lord, do you still want me to keep talking about the things that I've been talking about? Because now it feels like, you know, everybody's kind of talking about it even though, you know, we've been saying it for years. And so I feel that the Lord has been transitioning me to just talking more about the kingdom. And this has been sticking with me for so long. And it's just been like so strong. Like when he sent the disciples out and people were healed, he said, tell them that the kingdom was near to them. And I can't stop thinking about that verse. Let me tell you something about Brother Marcus. I don't, I really don't claim no denomination. People know what I believe, but I claim kingdom. That's what, you know, when the disciples went out, they didn't say, oh, I'm from this church. I'm from this place. They went out in the name of the kingdom. And so that's one of the things that I've been just really trying to stay off social media and messing with, you know, people in the comments and stuff like that. But one thing that I want to share with you guys today is please just know that God has all of the details in his hands. OK, everything that that is going on in your life everything that hasn't happened yet, everything that will happen. I want to testify to you and tell you, like, it's crazy to me, like how God will work out even the smallest details, things that you weren't even thinking of, things that you weren't aware of. I mean, like everything about you, that the way that you were created, where you came from, what you've went through, the Bible says all things work together for the good of them that love him and are called according to his purpose. And what you need to know, you need to know this in your heart is even when stuff happens in life that you don't understand, even when stuff happens in your life that isn't fair, uh, when things happen in your life and you say, man, why did that happen? What the Lord is looking for is for people who truly trust him, that he has all the details that he knows the next turn that you're supposed to make. He knows that that person was going to do you wrong. Like, we got to get to the point where we realize, hey, coronavirus is not a surprise to God. You getting betrayed or getting your heart broke is not a surprise to God. There's ugly things that happen. There's bad things that happen. There's things that you don't understand. But the Lord is saying, look, I hold the details in my hand. And because I hold the details in my hand, all that I need you to do is get into my arms and allow me to reveal to you the next move. And let me tell you something. It's so one of these days, I really want to tell you my whole testimony and tell you the details. Like I'm about to be 30, 34 years old. But when I look back at my life, I can see God's hand all the way from just, just childhood. It's like, it's like he's been leading me even when I didn't know it. I told you guys I was going to commit suicide and uh, jump off the bridge. And the Lord said, no, I told you guys that I've been in shootouts. I told you guys uh, I've been to Iraq. I've been to Afghanistan. I've had so many guns pointed in my face. I've been jumped so many times. It's been so many times that I should have been dead. I almost drowned. Right back in 2016, the current was uh, sweeping me down. And I thought that was it, man. I, I probably never been that scared in my life. I was more scared that I was going to drown than when I had the guns in my face. And I thought maybe that I was going to die. And it's like God has given me so specific instructions that a lot of times I'd be like, man, people are not going to believe me. But what's so crazy is when you look at the Bible, he gave Noah specific instructions. He gave Moses specific instructions. And so God wants to give us instructions. But here's the thing. When God gives you instructions, some people are going to be like, God didn't tell you that. God didn't say that. God didn't tell you to build that ark, Noah. Uh, Moses, I think that you should do the temple like this. Hey, Moses, I don't think it's a good idea for you to go to the promised land. God didn't call you, Paul. Right? And man, I'm going to tell you something that I've really been, it's been on my heart. I'm trying to tr so truly completely break away from caring what people think. Like, I really don't care what people think, but I'm talking about church folks and religious folks, because one thing I know about people, people want to put you in a box, whatever they're comfortable with. They, they say that's from God. Sometimes people put their personality and their preferences. And if you, I, and I talked about this the other day, if you're dancing, right, that's not from God, but David danced to the point where he was almost naked. If we, if just think about it, this is the best way that I can explain it to people. If David was here today, dancing in the street so hard that he got naked, people would say, that's not God, right? But he loved the Lord and he was just dancing. So it's like, it's so much stuff that we do 
and that we say that gets in the way of God that we don't even hear the details anymore because we're so caught up in listening to what other people got to say. The Bible says to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You got to have a relationship with God that you just know that you know his voice. And that only comes by spending time with him. And I promise you, I ain't even trying to get emotional. Like, I'll give you guys an example. When I was getting out the army, I didn't have, okay, I had the Facebook followers, but I didn't have no source of income. I had these, all these kids, you know, I'm gonna have to pay child support for. You guys know my story. And I literally drove from Kentucky saying, Lord, why did you allow this to happen? My plan was to do 20 years in the military. And he said, I got you. I got the details. I, man, I see things that you don't see. And so I remember the Lord would tell me, man, you're going to preach to basketball players, right? He would tell me specifically, you're going to do this and you're going to do that. I said, Lord, that people are not going to believe me. People are going to say like, oh, you know, that's just, you know, that's crazy. That's not from God. And I remember when the first NBA player ever reached out to me and I just, I'm still right now, I'm trying not to cry because like, if you listen, if you learn to listen, God is speaking. And so he's done so many things where he's like, it'd be like, see, I told you. Even me and my brother right now, you can ask him. I'm going to bring my brother on here one time. Even when we're recording music, God cares about the details. I literally be in the studio like, Lord, you know, what song do you want me to do? How do you want me to do it? And man, it's like, ah, oh, I can't even explain it to you. Like, it's like, if, if you really listen, God will tell you, turn left, turn right, stop. There's been situations in my life I remember when I was a kid, the Lord spoke to me clear as day and he said, hey, hide behind a car. Now, if I say that to a lot of people, they, they oh, God didn't tell you that God's not speaking. And I remember I heard it clear as day and uh, I didn't hide. And then he said it again. He said, go hide behind the car. And I didn't do it. And literally two minutes later, these dudes came out and they robbed me. I mean, they robbed me. And then there was another situation. You guys know the Drown Myself video where I put my head in the trash can? I remember the Lord spoke to me clear as day. He said, go to your job. And I went and I saw the trash can. He said, I want you to fill it up with water and I want you to stick your head in and say whatever I tell you to say. And I was like, my mind was like, oh, God's not telling you to do that. And trust and listen to this. This was before I had Facebook followers. This is when two people were watching my videos, my mom and maybe one of my friends. OK, so it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to do this video and get a lot of it was none of that. It's like I'm about to look crazy. All of my friends who are not saved are about to look at me crazy. And this is going to be embarrassing. And I remember the enemy was just like, don't do that. They're, they're going to put you in the uh, the psych hospital at the army because, you you know, army people are going to see it and they're going to call and they're going to be like, yo, this dude is crazy. And I filled it up with water and I stuck my head in. And when I came out the water, I felt the anointing. I started preaching. You got to want it as bad as you want to breathe. You got to want God as bad. And I felt the anointing flowing. And it's like people don't believe, but I'm telling you, God will speak. Like when he told me Trump was going to win, uh, you know, when he when you remember the if you guys saw that that video that I posted from 2017 and I drew that picture and it looks like the coronavirus, like, man, it just I'm telling you, God is talking if we listen. But there's things that get in the way of us listening. We have our own ideas. We have our feelings. You know, the biggest problem why people can't hear from God clearly is feelings. You got to be the kind of person that says, I'm putting my feelings completely to the side. Lord, whatever I feel, it doesn't matter. I want what you want. I don't, I, if I have religious tradition in me, I don't want that. If I have people's opinions influence me, I don't want that. If I have my own ideas, I don't, Lord, whatever you want is what I want. And that's when God's going to begin to speak to you. And people are going to get mad about it. You know, people always get on my Facebook and they say, oh, he has followers because He's light skinned, like dumb stuff like that or because of this or because of that or because of that. And they don't know the tears that I cried. They don't know how many times I had to obey God when he was like, forgive this person. And they were doing me dirty and wrong. They don't see none of that stuff. They just have dumb ideas of why you got where you are. Let me tell you something, man. Do not doubt what God is telling you. Don't let nobody. If God is telling you to do something, even if it sounds crazy, if you know that it's God, you do it and you move in it and you don't apologize to nobody because nobody else is going to stand before God for you, but you. 
you're going to have to answer to God and nobody else. And so that's something that uh, I've been really praying about and trying to just reevaluate myself because, you know, everybody has an opinion on what Marcus Rogers is doing and what he's posting. And sometimes I go back and forth with people in the comments. But the thing is, I know the Lord is with me and it doesn't matter what nobody thinks. It really doesn't. And so when we get from that freedom where, look, there's so many people that they try to shrink themselves and put themselves in a box to please other people. And the Lord is saying, I'm trying to break the box. Stop not doing what I told you because other people are not going to like it. Who cares what they say? They don't pay your bills. They can't get you into heaven, you know? And it's like, oh, man, I just, I'll end it with this, all right? The Bible says acknowledge God in all your ways and he will direct your path. If you start trying to really do that and you come to him naked, not with your opinions, not with your feelings, not with your emotions. Like he said, take off your shoes for the place you stand is in holy ground. If you come to God empty like that, he will tell you about everything. He will tell you about relationships. He will tell you who you should date. He will tell like when you really hear from God, the the rules of the world don't really apply from you, apply to you. And that's what some people don't understand. For example, some people feel like, oh, well, I should date them for, uh, you know, two years before I get married or, um, you know, they just they, they shouldn't get married yet, whatever, whatever. But if you really hear from God and God says, that's your wife. Then that's your wife. People, people, when they try to put their rationality on it. Right. Because they don't hear from God and because, of that, well, you know, I got to test it out. I got to have not say use wisdom, of course. But if you know that, you know that you heard from God then just go in that, just go in that. And that's the message for some of you right now. You need to go. You need to surrender and you need to do what God is you know, telling you to do, regardless of what anybody else thinks. All right. So I love you guys. Be blessed. Uh, be encouraged. Um, I, I am in here in Virginia. I did post, you know, one or two videos today. If you feel like checking out the music, that would be nice. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day in Jesus' name.